So you've created this amazing web design that you are excited to share with your clients and now is the big moment. You actually want to share it with your clients so that you get the feedback that you want. But what's the best way to go about doing that? Here I want to share with you a handful of ways that you can go about sharing your designs with your clients so that you get the feedback that you actually need to do your job and to get it quickly and to keep the whole project running smoothly. Now, some of these ways work better than others. Some of these ways are going to work for you and some may not. It really depends on how you go about building your website and what fits best into your process. Now I'm going to share with you some specific tools and some simple ways you can do this and I just recommend you test out some of these different strategies to see what you want to implement in your business. So some of the most basic ways that you can share a design Let's say you design it in Photoshop. Well, now you can export this as a JPEG or a PDF to be able to send this over to a client. Now, some of the struggles with something like a JPEG or a PNG file is that depending on the software that the client uses to open it, they might see it all scrunched up, they might see a lot of white space on the side, and they might get all confused and, and wonder how this is actually going to look on the internet. <laughs> so. This is where they start to ask a lot of questions that really don't tend to matter. Now, a PDF can be very helpful because most clients are going to understand how a PDF actually displays, and so that might be a little bit easier for them to understand. Now, the easiest way that I think that you should show clients, regardless of the strategy that you use here, is that you should be presenting your designs live. There is no better way to get the feedback that you need to keep clients on track and make sure they're giving you the right feedback that you need and not all these random little changes that tend to pop up when we just send over design and say, well, let me know what you think because, well, they're gonna let you know what they think, and what they think is probably gonna have nothing to do with the actual goal of the project. They're gonna want you to change this color over here, make this a little bit wider. Can we play with this font? Could this be bigger? Could this be small? It's a lot of feedback that isn't really helpful to the overall success of the project. So presenting this live can be really, really helpful. Now, another way that you can present your mockups to clients is even using a WordPress plugin. Now, Project Huddle is, for example, a really good plugin that you can use to get the feedback that you need. So whether you are displaying an image or you are displaying a live website, then the client is able to go in and click on what they want to give you feedback in and type it right there so the feedback is very clear. Another option is to use a design or prototyping tool. Envision is a really good tool that you'd be able to use. And what this does is it allows you to take an image and essentially make it clickable. So this really feels like a real browsing experience for your clients. So that way you don't have to build out the entire website based on your design before they're able to click around and play with it and see how it would actually work for them. One of the best parts is that you can also do this in real time so you can get that feedback right there that you need. Now there are also visual website feedback tools like Bugherd, for example, and these also allow you to work in real time or be able to send this off to a client who will review it later, but this will essentially allow them to look at either an image or again, a live site and be able to pinpoint specific areas that they want to give you feedback on. And it really just helps keep that feedback organized for you. So in the event that you have a client, let's say in another time zone, or that has a really tough schedule and is unable to get together with you for whatever reason, I would discourage that if at all possible. But if you need to be able to send a design over to a client for feedback, if you cannot present live, another option is to be able to present the design in a pre-recorded message to them. You can use a simple browser tool like Loom, for example, that allows you to take a video of your screen while at the same time you on camera in the bottom corner, and you're able to walk the client through your design. That way you are sharing with them specifically what you have done, why you have done it, and how it relates to their goal, and ask them for very specific feedback. This is the feedback that's actually gonna help move the project along, and it helps keep them from giving you feedback, like, oh, the font is too small, or this, or all these minor things that will come up. 
So there you have it. Those are a handful of ways that you can present your web design mock-ups to your clients and start getting the feedback that you need to just keep the ball rolling so things run smoothly for you and you finish your projects on time. Let me know how you currently present your web designs to clients down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.